headquarters. Today we're going to talk about other new things. <laughs> My friend Rachel Keel has a new single out which I got to uh, do some fun work on. So we're going to talk about that. The collaborative, creative, recording layers going on um, because there's some interesting things and, and bits of wisdom I think that are prescient to you, my YouTube friends. Thank you for following me on YouTube. Okay, so Rachel is a good friend of mine, a killer artist, and a really creative person. So she called me into the studio. This would have been last winter when we were cutting this. Um, and so I was, you know, this was in the era when you could be places with other people, which we're getting there again. Um, so we had me in the main room, Rachel and Jeff Crawford, engineer producer in the other. And so she had, this is why I love Rachel. She is a very creative person. So she's like, okay, so like Sonic Youth, Kurt Vile, but also Fairport Convention, Richard Thompson, maybe like finger picking, and then, but also like Kraftwerk and Noi. And because I'm such good friends with Rachel and we have just such a good rapport and mutual respect, I'm like, yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, love it, super cool. So then, you know, we listen to the basic cuts and I'm looking at the chart, and I'm like, okay, typically a droney, finger-picky kind of song doesn't have this many chords. There is Conundrum 1. So, and I did this, you know, I did my homework. I thought about the song before the session, too, which, by the way, that's a good idea. You know, you, you, you want to be prepared. You want to show up with ideas in your pocket. So the idea I had, I picked up my trusty old Goya, this lovely fart box. And uh, I was like, you know, I love open D in general. It's, my, it's one of my default open tunings. So I was like, well, let's see. If the verse is mostly A and G going back and forth, sometimes hits an F. I'm like, well, I could, there's A, there's G, there's F. Or if I do one of my, you know, quasi Nick Drake. Cool. And if I needed the F. So I'll pull the solo the, the track up while I talk about it. So once you get your foot in the door, kind of, with a recording project and, and everybody hears it, like, good, good, this is good. We got something. That's huge because then you can continue. It's like if you don't get that first light bulb moment, this is true with any creative endeavor, drawing, painting, lyric writing, novels, whatever, like you need that, you need whatever that first thing is to get in there. Once you got that thing, then you get a little confidence and you're like, okay, what, what else can we try and do now? So then the next thing uh, was, oh man, but the chorus is kind of a different key. The chorus is more C sharp, A and B. So, I grab my Telecaster. I'm going to pull up the file now. I just realized I got to fix the tune in here. Well, let's continue that idea of finger picking across. Now, now here's the little bit of wisdom. For recording projects in the modern digital era, and honestly even on tape too, remember that, that you don't have to make a part that goes all the way through the song flawlessly. You can kind of be like, I know what I got for this, let me put that down. I know what I got for this, let me put that over there. And the more you do that, the more those little ideas happen. And for those of you who listen to my channel or like, pay attention to my backing tracks. Again, thank you so much. Um, I do that all the time. I'll hear just like, yeah, there needs to be like a tremolo guitar going. So I'll just do it. I'll just make a track and have that tremolo guitar do that. Oh, I need a pedal steel that goes meep. And I'll just, I'll just put it there because what's it cost us? Nothing in the digital era. 
you know, what's, what's, what's another file? How many, how many kilobytes is that? Who cares? So for those of you who are doing digital recording projects, which I would assume a lot of us are because, you know, it's, we all got setups. Um, don't be afraid to just make little files of, of lots of different things and just, and just put that down there. So this one, you know, I'm in open A tuning now and just doing, this is actually vaguely Rolling Stones. And then snip right back to the other part. Since I'm here, this isn't actually the tuning of it, but... had to anyway haha -ha, little detour I'm allowed then we were like this is good this is going good I like I like both these parts but we all kind of felt still not there like we we're missing that 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 the special sauce the third heat um, we wanted that yeah that that noisy droney thing and then you know moment of divine inspiration <laughs> Gillian Welsh came to me and said hey Eric do that trick that I do where I tune one string to the other string. Thanks, Gilly. So what we did there, I went open A tuning, so that's like A, E, A, C sharp, E, and I was like, hey, C sharp, you're defining the key too much by being there. I'm just gonna make you another A. And once I did that and like piled on my effects, I think I was using my AC-15 um, for, for that session. Um, it was this beautiful moment of happiness, success, like, you know, Rachel screaming in the control room and high-fiving Jeff and I got goosebumps in the main room because all I did was I'm just finding my tonal center, A, B, C sharp, you know, A major. And, you know, because the song is so modal it goes down to G. Oh man, that's cool. I could do this all day. in music and I guess in life in general sometimes you just hit those moments where everything's right where everybody's happy where yeah it's it's just a special moment I think all of us can remember that that moment in the studio where we're like oh, yeah and yeah it's, it's it's funny I consider that honestly a peak of my career even though no one was there except me Rachel and Jeff but the satisfaction in like we were hunting for a thing and didn't know if we were gonna get it. And like, we knew the song was cool, but just like, where is the thing? And then I, I you know, I just did that one thing to the guitar and it, it made the whole thing work. Um, super cool. I hope you like the song. And I think that's all I want to talk about today. Thanks so much for watching my videos and uh, yeah, peace out.